Braylon Mullins day came and went cart and he's a Yukon Husky. Dan Hurley asked Mike Woodson to come outside and play. And for the second right. time in two weeks, cart, he took Indiana's top target, Eric Riby and Braylon Mullins headed to stores. The floor is yours. Uh, can I have a moment, please? Please. Uh, behind me. Sorry. It, no, this is going to be only on the video. Behind me, we have a visual representation of a locker. You know what? Let's not do the door. Let's do this little deep freezer right here. This is a locker. I'm Dan Hurley. Right here, we got Mike Woodson. Here's what we're going to do. Hey, Woody. Let's stuff him in there. There you go. Don't want to hear from you anymore. Give me Braylon Mullins. Give me Mr. Ryby. You shh. It's enough, Michael. I'll take those. But it was really, really cute. Like, it was awesome. Like, oh, Braylon Mullins, he's from Indiana. He's got family there. He was born in Candy Stripes. Well, now he's in stores. So, like, hmm. 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 Uh, I don't feel like you stuffed him very much there. Like that was kind of gently lay down in a locker. I I want to keep that bobblehead. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, okay, so this is huge. This is huge. Braylon Mullins is awesome. We've covered this recruitment from start to finish. Uh, huge loss for my body language PhD. I thought this would end up in Indiana, and uh, I have to own that. I have to own that. We're going to reevaluate. We're probably going to tuck the body language PhD in that locker that Mike Woodson got stuffed in. And uh, we're going to, we're going to give this a couple months and come back and be better next year. But Hey, if I can lose body language, PhD commitment predictions, uh, so can Trilly. Trilly did too. I feel better about me with that happening. Like experts get it wrong. Sometimes I got to ice up though. Dan Hurley is the baddest man in the sport. We know this. Raylan Mullins has opted to, Go to a UConn team that is going to be loaded with guard talent next year. I mean, Aiden Mahaney, Darius Adams, uh, theoretically Solomon Ball could be back. And now Braylon Mullins, like, I, I assume Braylon Mullins is going to play because he's that good. But th this is such a win for Hurley to convince a kid like Braylon to come compete for minutes in a way that I don't think he would have had to at Indiana. I think there was a clearer role available, presuming Mackenzie and Baco has gone after this year. And honestly, with where Cannon Carlisle is right now, I think he would have just played right over him. Uh, are you surprised? Like how surprised are you that this ended up a Husky? How surprised am I that Braylon Mullins is going to go play for Dan Hurley? Like I, I know that you're doing the thing and it's, it is funny. It's entertaining. And I know that, it is truly like Mike Woodson. When the games get here, I don't think any of us fear Mike Woodson. But Indiana money is real. Mm -hmm. He's had some big recruiting wins this year. Like the presumed leader for a long time here was Indiana. Let's not act like we're not surprised at all that this is the end result. At least that's me speaking. Are you really not surprised that this is how it concluded? The only reason I'm not surprised is because from a basketball standpoint, I think it makes makes sense. And I think that sometimes that gets lost in it, that basketball reasons actually do play a factor in it because all we hear nowadays is what the price tag is on kids. And price tags are definitely a part of it. Like, I'm not I'm not here to ignore that whatsoever. But I think that also basketball things come into play. Um, and I think this is a, a case of basketball, uh, actual on-court things coming into play. And the offensive things that are done at UConn, are just better than what is done at Indiana. Like straight up, it is what it is. And I think Braylon Mullen's play style fits with UConn more than it fits with Indiana. And that's just is what it is. And I understand he's an Indiana kid. And I understand Indiana had the lead and they got the bags and all that. But from a pure basketball standpoint, from a pure Braylon Mullen's reaching his ceiling standpoint, I would say, an offensive standpoint, everything points to UConn in this case over Indiana. Okay. I want to do some quick hitter speed round. Braylon Mullins a one and done? Yes or no? No. Braylon Mullins a lottery pick one day? Yes or no? Yes. Braylon Mullins UConn's leading scorer one day? Yes or no? Yes. Who is UConn's starting lineup next season? Solomon Ball. 
Ooh. Solomon Ball, Ahmad Noel, Braylon, Liam Reby? McNeely back. Where's Mahaney? Oh, shit. Forgot about Mahaney. Right? This is what I'm saying. Darius Adams off the bench, too? Like, there's... The guards on this team are insane. They are insane. But, they, I mean, you just go... Maybe you just go super, super small. I mean, the, the path here would be, like... I think at least one of those five's got to leave. Between Ball, McNeely, Mullins, Mahaney, Noel... I'd be pretty stunned if all five of those are on the same team. And in, I mean, and you throw Darius Adams in that mix. Okay, so maybe in a world if Dan Hurley gets his way, Solomon Ball is good enough to, to lead this season. That's what I, I think one of McNeely or Ball need to be good enough to be like a lottery pick and go. Yeah. And if that happens, then you're probably going Mahaney, Mullins, either Adams or Noel then a four, and then Ryby. That would be good. What's this? That that would be their fourth national championship in a row. Probably. Duke's kind of doing some things. Yeah, I'm looking at Shire, though. Yeah, I mean, that is the thing. If, if two equally talented teams play on a court together, and one has John Shire and one has Dan Hurley, I know what side I would be on. So, so much for the Lakers job, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, no, we, we, we really had to do that dance all summer, and now like this just happened. I mean, we got to thank him though. He gave us something. I mean, it was it was like goddamn Brian making his decision for South Beach for Dan Hurley. He was at Billy Joel concerts. His wife had interviews, sit downs with Diana Sawyer, or whoever it was. Um, like it was it was a great spectacle. I'm gonna give you five UConn shooting guards. And I want you to rank the peak of their career in order. Peak of their UConn career in a UConn uniform. Okay. Jordan Hawkins. Cam Spencer. Solomon Ball. Aiden Mahaney. Braylon Mullins. Ooh. Was the five Dan Hurley national title era shooting guards. Where does Braylon Mullins rank on the list in his peak UConn year? I have my answer, and I'm very curious how different it'll be from yours. You said Solomon Ball was a choice, right? Yeah, Hawkins, Spencer, Solo Ball, Mahaney, Mullins. I'm going to go... I'm going to go, ah, that's so tough. Oh, man. Hawkins was great. I mean, um, the, the way this Mullins recruitment played out, I think people are kind of expecting him to be near the top of this list. But you also had a moment months ago where you are like, at what point do we need to step back and be like, dog, this is Braylon Mullins. Yeah. So um, he's not okay, a consensus. I'm gonna go, he's not the number one player in the class. I'm going to go, I'm going to go ball Hawkins. Ball one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm all in. Whoa. Yeah. Ball Hawkins, Mullins, Mahaney Spencer. Wow. Really low on what Cam Spencer did last year. I think if the if if the guys that I said before that peak is Cam Spencer, with all with all due respect, then I think it's a little bit like that's a great floor. Yeah. But like that's that being their ceiling, I think you would end up disappointed. Okay. I'm gonna say something that uh I'm sure UConn fans will take greatly here. Plot twist. Braylon Mullins will be the best player out of that group of five in a UConn uniform. I'm mad as hell. I wanted to go there, but I got I so I, he, I got scared. I, I, I think this is what's gonna happen. I think you're so loaded in year one. This is gonna be a two year plan for Braylon. And when it's all said and done, I think sophomore year Braylon Mullins will end up like a top six or seven pick in the draft. Don't think his season will look all that different from like a Dalton Connect year, except Dalton Connect with some handle stuff to it. Like, I, I think this kid's going to be insane. I think he projects as the best. Jordan Hawkins was incredible. For my money, he'd be second on this list. I think it would go Mullins one, Hawkins two, 
I'll go Solo Ball 3, Spencer 4, Mahaney 5. And I love Mahaney, but I'm worried Mahaney's never going to get off the bench because Dan Hurley keeps recruiting better players than Aiden Mahaney. And that's insane. It is insane what Dan Hurley's doing. But uh, credit to Braylon Mullins for this decision. UConn strikes again. He's going to be awesome. We are huge fans of yours, Braylon. Uh, not to brag, Braylon Mullins, sleeper's follower. If you're listening to this, Braylon, know that the door is open. We would love to get you on the program at some point. You have something to say? Well, can I have a quick seven seconds? This is my first victory over you. Is it? You said Indiana this whole time, and I said he's, I said he's not going to Indiana. This is my first miss in 11 attempts this summer, yeah. Yep, and in typical sleepers fashion, that means I get the victory lap for your miss. <laughs> that is <laughs> that, a win. Isn't that how this channel operates? How sad do you think Braylon Mullen's dad is right now? He's probably pretty sad. I'm also wondering, like, at what point this is going to hit Woody. Yeah, you think, like, maybe give it three more weeks before the <laughs> someone comes running into the offices? Like, by the third exhibition game, he's like, did you notice that Braylon didn't take the take the seats for his official visit? And there's like, Mike, he's going to UConn. He's like, what? <laughs> Braylon Mullen's family will uh, will still take the tickets, Woody, if you're willing. They, they just want to come watch Indiana games. <laughs> Football season is here. Money is out there to be had in the form of winning bets. And our friends at my bookie want to make it easy for you to do just that. Yeah. And coming into football season, you're going to have games all weekend happening everywhere. And Gregory, where is the only place that sleepers media places all bets? I can tell you right now, since last February, February 1st, to be exact. My bookie is the only place that I have placed a sports bet. I love my bookie. They make it easy. They get you quick payouts. They have awesome promo offers. In fact, card, they've got one right now that football fans everywhere and listeners of this show are going to want to take advantage of. Yeah, using promo code sleepers, that's promo code sleepers. You can take advantage of a 50% instant deposit bonus right now. That's 50% instant deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars over at my bookie use promo code sleepers and happy betting home dogs aren't dogs they're wolves Arr i'm trying to flip that into like sport like home sports books aren't books they're novels we'll work on it that didn't work go my bookie promo code sleepers